name's Dana Mazur with Sober Medical Supply in Wilmington, North Carolina. We're back with another wheelchair review for you. Today we're doing the Levo C3 Power Standing Wheelchair. A pretty exciting product. I like a few things about the chair I really like. I like how it offers the only mid-wheel drive uh, base in the market that has a power standing feature. Um, I like how it goes down to 12 and a half inches small. I think it's the smallest power standing wheelchair in the market as well. But the base is really cool and, and really unique. It is a mid-wheel drive base. Um, it has what they call a dual drive. Levo's calling it a dual drive system where you have a mid-wheel drive in the seated position. However, the front wheels are powered as well. You know, some people have called it a four-wheel drive, even though these front wheels are not touching the ground. But when you stand up, the front wheels actually drop to the ground and the mid wheels are lifted up and it becomes a front wheel drive while driving. So front wheel drive in the standing position and mid wheel drive in the seated position. So for a lot of folks who want a standing wheelchair but do not want to have a front wheel drive chair, this gives them the option of having a mid wheel drive standing chair and while standing and while the chair is uh, more, more vulnerable to tipping, tipping over it then switches to a front wheel drive which gives you a wider wheelbase so you can kind of get the best of both worlds and the dual drive also while having the front wheels powered you remove the um, the burden of high centering while going up ramps or going over rough terrain um, the chair will not high center, the drive wheel will not be suspended in the air and, and stuck spinning when you hit an incline or a ramp. Anyone with a mid-wheel drive knows what I'm talking about, high centering. When the front wheels hit an incline or a ramp, the chair starts to go up it and it causes the drive wheel, the mid-wheel, to lift up off the ground. On this chair, since the front wheels are powered, it will pull you, as soon as it hits the ramp, the front wheels catch and just gets, pulls you right out of the chair. Probably the best chair I've ever seen for getting up, up and down ramps. Um, also handles uh, just outdoor terrain real well. You know, with the, with the four power powered wheels, the the dual drive, you can kind of get through rougher terrain a lot easier, and you can get over four inch curbs with ease. So it's definitely nice for someone who is active. Um, another really strong point of this chair is um, the biggest obstacle to getting a standing wheelchair is the cost. You can get into one of these chairs at a much lower cost. Uh, primarily because you don't need all of the other powered seating functions that you need in some of the other manufacturers. Um, with this chair you can just have you can just have the seating position and just pay for the standing. With some of the other companies you need to get power tilt, power recline, power legs, and a power seat elevator. But this chair, you, you don't need any of it. All you need is the base, and you can go straight from seated to standing. There is an option for power tilt in space. However, this chair does not offer a seat elevator, um, power recline, or power leg rest. I'll show you in a little bit, you can get some seat elevation in this chair. You actually can get a decent amount of seat elevation without paying for it. It's built into um, the tilt and space combination with the standing, so I'll show you that. Um, so again, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, very uh, inexpensive way to get a power standing wheelchair. The chair seems to function overall really well. Um, the standing sequence is really smooth. Very little shear forces. Um, not a lot of adjustment. It's just, you, you know, you hop in the chair, you stick the, the client in the chair, you make some adjustments to the chair, and it just stands really easily. It's very functional, very easy way to stand, and drives really well while standing. Um, you can kind of get some, actually some high speeds while you're standing and driving, as you'll see in our video. Um, so that's definitely really nice. Uh, when you stand the the, um, when you stand up in this chair, you're actually in a comfortable position. Your armrests are not up too high. You're, you're actually seated, standing in a um, comfortable, functional position. Okay, I'm going to show you how this chair stands up. I'm going to get in myself. This chair's got a good seat depth for me. 
Um, another thing I really like is you have different options for the knee blocks. This is a swing away option and I really like it. The knee block is, you know, attached to the chair at all times. You can also get a center mount. The problem is, and the other manufacturers do this, when you're not using the knee block, you have nowhere to put it or store it. Um, so you don't always want your knee block on the chair while you're driving around. With this version, actually, it swings away. And you can see it's tucked in nice and clean. When I'm ready to stand, you have to release the knee block, spin it around, and it's a lot of adjustability. You can bring it in nice and, you don't want it too snug, but you can bring it in nice, comfortable position. I'm going to pull this knee block out, swivel around. Um, the knee block has adjustability front to back, actually in and out. There's some bolts on the inside here, really easy to adjust where you can bring adjust the width of the knee pads. You can get a chest strap on this chair, also a chest bar for extra support while standing. I'm going to go ahead and stand it. I'm doing this through the joystick. This chair uses Arnett Electronics. This is the Arnett joystick that many people are familiar with. Uh, some of the other major manufacturers are using an Arnett Electronics also. As you see when I stand, really not a lot of shear, really clean standing. Um, stands me pretty much straight up. And I can pretty much go back a little bit if I don't want to go too far forward. It's a very simple, functional stand. And I went right from a seated position. Goes down rather quickly. And I can drive from any one of these positions. You can drive fully standard. And you can drive well. And even pretty fast. That was easy. I can switch into the tilt space. This chair has 30 degrees of tilt. Once you're all the way back 30 degrees, from there you can start to stand and you'll see that it kind of looks like a seat elevator at this point. The seat pan is flattening out. I notice the back is kind of reclined, but I am pretty high up right now, so. Um, it's almost like a built-in seat elevator at this point. You know, you could reach something. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead all the way up into the standing position. Well, you'll see my, because my tilt is all the way back, I'm pretty high up in the air and I'm tilted back. I'm going to take the tilt out. So that's pretty cool how that works. After you stand, you can still use your tilt space. And I could actually tilt back a little bit from here. If I feel, you know, fatigued or I was going to fall forward in the chair, I could just kind of tilt myself back or seat myself again. So again, it's a really simple yet functional standing wheelchair. Very easy to uh, set up for the end user, just very easy all around for them to use. And then when I'm done, I can release the knee blocks. And you'll see they'll flip in and even lock into place on the side. Lock into place. Release the chest strap. Turn the chair off. Got nice simple foot plates that flip up, real clean and flush, very clean and flush. You can see oh, this one has a light kit. The lights are kind of blocked by the knee blocks right now. It has a light kit, swing away joystick, retractable joystick. The seat is growable from all the way down to 12 and a half inches to 20 and a half inches. So a 12 and a half inch seat pan is the smallest one that I know of. So you can, can fit your small um, 
children in this chair, so it definitely has a, some, you know, a purpose in the pediatric market, and you can get down to a 13 and 3 quarter inch seat depth, so you can get pretty narrow and not so tall person in the chair. Um, the seat pan is, uh, has built in growth with and depth. So it's easy to make it, you know, to grow with the child or to, you know, change the seat with or depth. If you ever chair ever goes from one person to another or is sold, you could always fit somebody else in the chair without needing hardly any parts at all. Um, different backrest option. This is the V-Track back. Comes standard on the order form. It also has motion concepts. Seat uh, backrest on the order form that goes right into the chair. Um, if you want to use any other aftermarket backrests, you can order a tubular adapter that fits right onto the back post and we'll give you two dual posts um, to mount any aftermarket backrest you want onto the chair and that will give you options for all the different headrests. You can use whatever seat cushion you want on it. This is a Levo cushion. You have a good amount of armrest width adjustment with these bolts. You can see here how the armrest can come in or go out. The backrest mounts on the center post. and You'll see if you loosen these bolts right here, the backrest can literally slide up and down on this track. And you can put different size backrests right onto the track. You have this adjustment knob right here which is used to set the back angle of the chair. It's adjustable on back angle. There's multiple positions. And you can see here these little holes right here and the measurements. This, this is in centimeters. You can adjust the seat depth. Alright, let's wrap up and do a quick overview of the Levo C3. Uh, this is a great mid-wheel drive power standing wheelchair. Um, if you can you know, get by without power recline and power elevating leg rest, then this is a good chair to consider because it stands very well, uh, very functional, drives very well while standing, and drives very well seated. It's a pretty heavy duty chair. It can climb ramps and get over a rough terrain really easy due to the dual drive. Uh, all four wheels, there's six wheels, but four, the front four, the mid wheel and the front wheel are powered. So great for active users and uh, great because you can get a standing wheelchair at a much lower cost. Uh, so it's definitely a huge thing, but something to consider if you're in the market for a standing wheelchair. This is definitely something you want to consider. Again, if you can get by without the power of climb and power legs. It does have 30 degrees of tilt in space and stands you up pretty much straight up. Um, when you're standing, it switches to the front wheel drive, which is great and more stable. And then you also get the mid-wheel drive all in a seated position. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. And that's about it. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Facebook, and keep an eye out for more reviews. And just contact us with any questions and any attaboys or anything, any critical criticisms you got. Thanks, and look forward to speaking with you guys in the future. Thanks.